So was Spain the right move? Um, it's obviously February now. La Mata is starting to see the weather improve. I'm sat in a long sleeve t-shirt or shirt rather than a jumper now. But there was actually somebody swimming earlier. There's a few people on the beach. Sort of conservative sunbathing, I suppose. They've still got shirts and stuff on. But the weather's pretty good. Because the funny thing here is, you don't have to be making big money. And, and a lot of people um, approach me saying, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Like with the, the call centre in the Philippines. The reason is, I've got to be there to run the call centre. Um, because if I'm not there, A, it's prone to exploitation. Um, because I've seen other people lose businesses because of leaving people to run them. Um, but also, there's a lot of assets there. If you take the computers alone, there's probably about half a million pesos worth of computer equipment. Um, and then, if somebody did something stupid, another another thing. Um, for example, there, within the call centre industry, there is a lot of drug abuse. So things like the use shabu and stuff to stay awake. If something happened when I'm not there, you can guess who they're going to blame. It's going to be the foreigner. So there's a lot of reasons I don't do it. And one of the key elements here is everything I do is not about money. And you need to move... Well, either you've got to accept I've moved away from that logic or you've got to move away from the logic. One of the two. I don't care about money. The company I left couldn't grasp the fact I couldn't care less about money because I care about quality of life. Here I am, sun's out, although it's a bit covered over. Um, I'm sat having a cup of tea on a beautiful beach. Got my camper van here. April's having a nap in the back. But we've got an hour to pick before we pick the kids up. So what do we do? We come straight down to the beach, sit, relax, have a cup of tea, make this video, and enjoy life. This is what it's about. It's not about money. It's about quality of life. And that's what's important to me. Money, I can make lots of money. Um, I've, I've said, said before, if it was money I was after, I'd be a millionaire by now. There's been so many things I decided to call it a day at certain times, purely because I find to change. I do stuff because I like doing it. As soon as I stop like doing it, the fun goes out of it, and as such, I move on to something else. But who else wouldn't want to live like this? Yes, it's got its downsides. I know people go, oh, the housing market, this, that. Yes, this is the upside. This is the bit that matters. The rest of it, you can talk yourself out of doing it. Um, but for me, April loves it here. The kids love it here. And that's what matters to me. And myself, Spain de-stresses me. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I don't generally suffer with too much stress, but... Here just seems a lot less stressful because you have holiday mode. I've stepped out of the van, got a few vitamin D rays off the sun, and I'm relaxed. I've got the, the crashing of the waves behind me. That's what life's about. And how much does it cost to do this? Now, there's a funny thing here, because I was talking to several expats that are not expats legally. There are a lot of people here that have never registered as self-employed, never registered as existing in the country. As such, they don't pay any of the taxes. The, they rent an apartment or something off somebody and they just live there. Because a lot of these apartments, they leave the bills in the building owner's name because it's less hassle than transferring when you move out. So what you do is when you move in, um, it's like our electric and water bills, they just change the bank account. So we pay it, but it's actually the bills are in the name of the person that actually owns the property. 
um, that's very very common so you don't really exist if you had a non-resident account for example you could pay the bills and nobody really knows where you are because it's registered to your UK address why would that be important well in theory your health insurance your EHIC which is your European health um, insurance card is for tourism so if you're a resident here it's non void but you have to pay into the Spanish system to get something out um, so for example we pay for my self-employment I pay tax and I pay social security contributions people who don't exist don't pay that and a lot of them don't even bother with health insurance, but they could get a private health insurance for an individual for about 30 euros a month and just simply not exist. Um, so their cost of living is less than mine. Why would I bother with going through all the system? I've got kids. The kids need access to the school. Um, we're also going to be applying for Spanish citizenship. So everything relies on being 100% above board but also with kids, you reduce your risks. You know, being a parent, I would not live here without insurance for the kids. It's as simple as that. There is no way I'll put my children at risk of something happening. Um, you know, myself is my own stupidity. You know, it's like me riding a motorbike without a helmet in the Philippines. It's my own stupidity. It's up to me. But here in Spain, you know, more responsibilities and being an adult I have to well being a parent being an adult is different you know if you're looking after yourself you do stuff that only affects you but as a parent you affect other people so you don't have that leeway um, but yeah you can live a lot cheaper than we do um, for an individual there's apartments for sale and there's apartments for rent so for a single studio apartment you're looking about 19,000 euros upwards for for purchase for renting some of them are even just 200 250 euros fully inclusive electric water is a lot so you're not even registered as having a bank account here in many cases because you just transfer the, the rent directly to the person who owns the property um, but it's just such a brilliant place to live um, I can't say any more than that. Alright, thanks for watching.